Think Tech Hawaii. Civil engagement lives here. Aloha and welcome to this, this week's edition of Business in Hawaii. I'm Daylan Yanagida and we're broadcasting live from the Think Tech studios in Pioneer Plaza in downtown Honolulu. If you want to tune in, we are live at www.thinktechhawaii.com. If you want to subscribe to our programs or get on the mailing list, please go to thinktechhawaii.com and sign up. The theme of Business in Hawaii is to bring you stories of businesses and people in Hawaii. Our guests share with us how they were able to build successes in a challenging business environment. And today, I'm honored to have Terry Funakoshi um, in the Think Tech studios today. Terry is the director of the Patsy T. Mink Center for Business and Leadership. Terry, welcome to the show, and thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. Um, I know you've been on the show previously, um, but for those who missed that show, tell us about the center and what you folks do and what you folks are up to. Thank you for having me back. Um, yes, I'd love to share. So the Patsy T. Mink Center for Business and Leadership, we're a women's business center. We're funded in part by the SBA, the Small Business Administration, and a program under YWCA Oahu. So our mission is really to help women succeed in business. So we help them start a business, grow the business, or help them with leadership skills. Um, and we've been doing that here for about five years in Hawaii, and we are the only women's business center in the whole state. Nice, yeah. amazing, amazing. Tell me about the types of people that um, the center has been help helping. I know there's a, there's a focus on women, um, even young women. Tell me about the type of people that you folks support. So we, in our programs, I kind of like to divide it like 50-50. So half of the time we do leadership programs where we have um, like our Patsy Teaming Leadership Alliance, which I'll tell you more about, but that helps um, emerging women uh, leaders in the corporate area help them to get to the executive level and then we help the youth in leadership so we have a girls summit and we help um, go to high schools and bring the public and private schools together and we do like a one-day summit similar to a Wahine Forum Network where you have a net, uh, keynote speaker and then breakout sessions and then we just had one and our, our theme was STEM so we do le leadership and then on the other side we do entrepreneurship so we have like launch my business, we do a oh, wow. start class, you know, you just have an idea starting out, or we have a grow class where like, you've been in business for a couple years and you just need that extra help, you know, from experts to take it to the next level. Mm -hmm. So we do that. And then on the entrepreneur side, we also do launch my nonprofit. So nonprofit is also like a business. So we have launch my nonprofit and we do a start uh, where we kind of talk about your nonprofit and build that. And then we have a second part, which is really like grant writing. Like, you know, everybody needs grants to, to help fund your nonprofit. Mm -hmm. So we kind of do that. And then, like we were talking earlier, because we're a program under YWCA, we also help um, the women that come through our economic development program. So we help uh, women coming from incarceration, really help them transition back into the community. So we teach a lot of classes on job retention, sometimes entrepreneurship, you know, um, skill building, soft skills. So we do quite a bit at the center, um, but th that's the type of people we help. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. So many um, lives to touch mm -hmm. um, with that scope. Tell me a little bit about how you got involved mm -hmm. with the center. I you know, I know you have quite an illustrious <laughs> career, retail, and I, I know you, you have a degree in um, marketing and merchandising. Mm -hmm. Tell me how you found the center. <laughs> Uh, we kind of found each other. So, um, like you said, my background is in retail. So I've, you know, been in the industry for you know 30 years, kind of a long time. And uh, toward the end of my career, I started to work with um, local practitioners and artisans, and I really uh, felt like they needed help in marketing. They had wonderful products, great ideas. So I started talking to them, and then I kind of created my own association, it was the Hawaii Culture and Retail Association, and I had that for several years, and I worked with them. And the one problem that we had was really funding, you know, getting that uh, access to capital mm -hmm. so that they could grow their business. And because I was just work networking with many people, the center came around and, and they actually do exactly what I was doing, but they have an arm for funding, you know, and grant writing right. and all of that. So I said it was a perfect marriage. Um, they accepted me, luckily, knock on wood, <laughs> and I, I joined them and I brought all my clients over and, you know, since I've been there for about mm, a little over two years, 
and we've just expanded. So I mean, it's wonderful. The partners um, are great. So well, the center was very fortunate to find you. <laughs> I'm lucky. I'm lucky. Yeah. Um, tell me about some of the success stories. I think our our audience would love to hear about those success stories that you built. There's so many. You know, I always say that. You know, especially women, we always. You know, there's so many problems, and we're always trying to solve problems. So the entrepreneurs I work with. They're like problem solvers. You know, if there's a problem, they'll find it. I worked with uh, several women who, like, their kids had, you know, allergies, gluten allergies. They figured out a way to, to make gluten flour, um, gluten-free flour from, like, taro and other things, you know, so they could cook and then turn that into a business. And I have smart women who say, you know, I have a passion and this is my passion, but I know I can't do that unless I make some money. So they research, they're good researchers, research businesses make them successful so they can do what they love you know and and i always you know one of my favorite is um is jessica she wouldn't give up she runs high cravings and uh, she started from her garage she has a great start from her garage to you know a food truck to a retail store location and she hit her million dollars you know wow. last year so from you know from the garage to a million dollars you can't beat that right <laughs> from passion to action That's exactly amazing. right and I think there are a lot of people a lot mm -hmm. of people men and women alike mm -hmm. who have great ideas they just don't know how to turn that into mm -hmm. something that they they envision right um, I had a chance to visit your center mm -hmm. beautiful space mm -hmm. it's, it's it's a great space for thinking and for collabor collaborating mm -hmm. could people visit your center tell me about the center the physical center so the center, we're located at YWCA Oahu on Richard Street, and you know I just kind of converted it. If you take one of our programs, you graduate, we're doing an alumni program, or you participate, I open the center at least one to two days uh, to be a resource, Wi-Fi, meeting areas. You know, it's a very nurturing, safe space. So I'm developing it as we go along because now that we've um, done a few, launch my business and launch my nonprofits, um, we need a space to meet and network. So it's evolving, um, but yes, anyone can come and visit the center. Um, we have workshops and classes always going on. They can check us online at mcbl-hawaii.org. We have all our events and programs going. And besides that, we're located in YWCA Oahu, so it's a beautiful venue. Yes. We have Cafe Julia. You know, we have a health and wellness center. So there's many things to do there. And it's a it's a historical building too. So it's if you haven't, you know, I know you've gone, but if you haven't seen it, it's beautiful. I know that there are also a number of resources for people. So a lot of times, mm -hmm. people are just thinking, right? Thinking out loud. Mm -hmm. And I thought what was really nice was the center and all the folks that work in the center mm -hmm. are there to hear out the thought process, mm -hmm. but also guide you to some resources. Mm -hmm. So I do know that immediately at the center, there, there are a host of um, handouts and pamphlets mm -hmm. for people who are in need of resources. Tell me about some of those resources you folks provide. Right, so we have um, free business counseling and also free legal counseling. We partner with the BLC. Um, so basically what happens is you come into the center, you have an idea, like you said, we have all the resources, but you can make a counseling appointment. So it's a one hour, one-on-one -on -one free appointment. And then we just sit down, um, myself or our counselor sit down with you and then we kind of go over what you're needing. And then that way we can re refer you to the right resource or maybe a class, workshop, or you maybe just need to talk over an idea. So that's really, I, I can't stress, it, that's important. Get a free business counseling. I mean, it's free, right, <laughs> right? Right. And then sometimes when we go through that, we realize that you know they might need legal services because mm -hmm. uh, too often I see um, people going to commercial leases or uh, partnerships, um, and that they didn't really know what you know what to expect. So if you can you know take the tools that we offer and save money and time, that's huge. So. Free legal service and free business counseling is a must. <laughs> right. Um, I know it's really, it's, it's almost scary mm -hmm. for someone who knows they want to start something up, but also having the sounding board, right, mm -hmm. to, to really the honest sounding board yeah. about yeah. whether or not this is really an idea that's going to take off. So mm -hmm. I know that you also offer some classes mm -hmm. um, to guide people through mm -hmm. a thought process, even to build their business plan. Mm -hmm. right. Tell me about some of those programs. Yeah, right. So I was saying, like, Launch My Business is our signature course. Uh, I think we're on cohort 11 now. Yeah, we're, we're just signing up. So if, you, if people want to come in, they can still call us. Um, and it's really good. It's a seven-week course. 
uh, and it's 45 hours. So we do it in the evening and on weekend because we know people have, might have other jobs or daycare needs. So that takes you from A to Z on the business. Uh, and after that, when you graduate, we just don't forget you. We, were, we developed an alumni program so they can come back and we still have resources to help them because it's tough. You know, I have, uh, I think Sarah Rice, who um, owns Bucks and Beauty, she was on the show recently and she is a graduate and she also has a master's degree in business. But yet she said, you know, once you start and you're hands on, it's, it's so different. And being part of a cohort and in, at our center, we actually help each other. So I know a lot of her classmates help her open her retail store and, you know, just uh, resources to go back and forth. So it's just things that you can't get. You, I mean, I can't stress enough that it's, you know, free resources, you know, that you have to take advantage of. How many people in a cohort? We usually like to keep it, you know, the most 15, you know, 10 to 15, mm -hmm. because we need that tight, that tight bond. Yeah. So everyone moves through the program together. Yes. So everyone's at the same pace. Right. So what we what we realized that we did too, right? We did the start and the grow, so that we have the similar a similar like minded um, people in the groups, and it really helps. But uh, but throughout the process, we always have that counseling. So you know that also helps too. And another thing we just started is with the banks you know we've been working with american savings bank and central pacific bank because along the west side people can't come drive to town so once a month i've been going out to the banks on the west side to kind of do some counseling and help them so you know again um there's no excuse if you need help come see us we definitely want to help you speaking yeah. about the finance side yeah. so do you walk your cohorts through building building that strategy that that budget, how to apply for a loan, mm -hmm. all the different resources that may be out there for them to, to fund their business ventures. Exactly, that's usually the hardest part. We always have the creative ideas and the marketing is the fun part, but the financing is always the scary part. So we do have a, we start off with a business model canvas and we kind of walk everyone through that process so that by the end of the canvas, you, you can get a loan if that's what you desire. And you know, being a, uh, part of the Small Business Administration, they do have favorable loans too. So we make sure that, you know, all your things are checked off, your boxes are done, so that when you need to apply for that loan or get access to capital, it's not a scary process, right. you know, so. Yeah. In that application process, so sometimes they're applying for financing, but sometimes they're applying for grants or whatnot mm -hmm. to, fund, to fund their ideas. Does being a graduate mm -hmm. of the program give them any advantages in that? Well, I always say that being a graduate, that is an advantage because you have your toolboxes full. We give you all the tools you need, really, to get to that next level. But we're always there to help. So, you know, depending where you are, you know, you might not need a loan. You might just need a line of credit. Uh, you know, you might need, um, you know, a small loan for appliances versus, you know, um, just products. So again, we work with everybody individually and then so we can tailor it to them. Sometimes a lot of clients think they just need a loan, they mm -hmm. just need money to have. But you know, we, we help them with a strategic plan to make sure that they make the most of, of their money and invest it wisely. So yeah. after they launch the business, mm -hmm. um, they're graduates, right, mm -hmm. of your program. So they launch their business. What about their journey in the first year? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really hard. <laughs> that's why they got to come for counseling. That's when I need a friend. Yes, right? exactly. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not easy. You know, we say like in the first, you know, three years, after you hit the three-year mm -hmm. mark, then you can really tell if you're going to be successful or not, right? So, again, it's crucial that we keep in touch with them. And, you know, that's, that's what we're here for. And we do, and that's why we have, you know, these um, networking. So we have our alumni group. And even tonight, I was telling you, we have a networking which we invite our um, alumni to come and they have like five minute mic. So we all kind of pass referrals, talk about how we're doing, new topics, new marketing. So again, it's, it's invaluable. Mm -hmm. Very nice, yeah. very nice. Mm -hmm. We are gonna take a break, okay. but when we come back, we also know that mm -hmm. the center helps the youth mm -hmm. um, and some disadvantaged groups. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about that and all the great things that are coming up from the center. This is Business in Hawaii. We'll see you back here shortly. I'm Jay Fidel, ThinkTech. ThinkTech loves energy. I'm the host of Mina, Marco, and Me, which is Mina Morita, former chair of the PUC, former legislator, and uh, Energy Dynamics, a consulting organization in energy. 
Marco Mangelsdorf is the CEO of ProVision Solar in Hilo. Every two weeks, we talk about energy, everything about energy. Come around and watch us. We're on at noon on Mondays, every two weeks on Think Tech. Aloha. Hey, aloha, everybody. Thanks for joining us on Think Tech Hawaii. I'm your host, Andrew Lanning, the security guy. I host a program called Security Matters Hawaii. And I hope you'll join us on Fridays. Uh, we air at 10 a.m. And we're going to be talking about those security things that really should be important to you. And, you know, maybe get behind the scenes on some, some things that you may not know about the industry or about products or even about your habits. Um, security is all about people, processes, and products. And we hope to bring that to you in an informative and um, hopefully a useful way. So, again, 10, 10 a.m. on Fridays, Security Matters Hawaii on Think Tech Hawaii. Join me. Thank you. Welcome back. This is Business in Hawaii, and today we're talking with Terry Funakoshi, director of the Patsy T. Mink Center for Business and Leadership. You have told us so many great things about the programs that the center offers, mm -hmm. and it's focused on entrepreneurship and startup businesses, but you also help uh, women in incarceration. You also help uh, young people. Tell me about those programs. Sure. So, um, like I was telling you earlier, Girls Summit, it's one of our favorites. So it's kind of modeled after the Wahine Forum. So we have a keynote speaker, and then we do breakout workshops. So this past year, we had uh, Jingjing Fernandez. She's our keynote speaker, and she's in the transportation area. So that was really cool. She was talking about how she traveled around the world and you know made differences in transportation. So she was talking about, you know, we're going to have flying cars soon. So the girls are really excited. And then that kind of led into our workshop. So we had coding where we did autonomous car coding with oh, Oceanet. Wow. They, you know, so we actually wrote some code and saw the cars going around. It's so really, really cool. And then we also did design thinking. So, you know, thinking outside the box, mm -hmm. you know, to get uh, tasks done. That was awesome. And then we always have a financial literacy piece nice. because the girls need to know about the budgeting and everything. So. So this program is wonderful. We, you know, we partner private schools with public schools just so the girls can network also. And you know, I've been trying to um, raise funds so that I can spread out and, and do more pri um, public schools. So this year we had Farrington and McKinley um, join us uh, along with um, Sacred Hearts and St. Anne, um, the Priory. So luckily I got some funding uh, from Wilcox Hospital, so we're going to go to Kauai and also, we're going to go to Maui with Maui Economic Development. So again, just spreading out and trying to reach right. more public schools. So if anybody wants to help us out, I'm always looking for volunteers. So there's no cost to the program? There's no cost to the public schools, you know, uh, because we try to get donations and funds to do it. So uh, in the last year, we branched out to, you know, the outer islands. It was just, you know, on Oahu, but now we've gone to all the other islands. So. That's amazing. So I'm still, you know, constantly looking right. for supporters. Yeah, with the to the public schools. You must get a lot of um, volu requests for volunteers or people wanting to volunteer. Um, is there a way that they can get in touch with you? Do you constantly take volunteers? How does that work? Yes. Yeah, so we, you can um, always uh, contact us online uh, on our website, and we have so many different ways to volunteer throughout, you know, YWCA and through our center. Mm -hmm. So. We always have we have a Y Connect, meaning you know we have a little lunch and we invite people over to tell them what we're doing, so they can see how many different ways they can volunteer. So, yes, please just contact me and I can always put somebody you know through the our Y Connect and which they can see what we do. So always looking for volunteers. I understand that. <laughs> yeah. So I know that um, there again are just a plethora of programs right. that you folks put on, but I do know that. Um, you have the Patsy T. Mink Leadership Alliance. Tell yes. me about this program because I was perusing your brochure and there are a number of topics that are very, very relevant today. Right. Very, actually very new. Right. So tell us about that. Yeah, you know, the Patsy T. Mink Leadership Alliance, uh, we started in 2016. Uh, our first cohort, we had 14 wonderful women. It was six months. It was such an amazing program and people loved it. We really found that there was a need for this program. So what this program is, is it's for women in the mid-career uh, level, and we're helping them get to that executive level. Because you know our goal is to really see more women executives in Hawaii. 
So we're actually the only one in the state that has an all-women program. And so what we found after the first cohort is that one, they, need, they wanted it longer. So we, the second cohort is 10 months, which is currently going on. And um, it's really that we got everybody from different industries. So the, the, what I can say is like the, the best part of it, which they tell me, is that we have all these wonderful women from different industries in a safe environment where they can share and learn together. And like you said, we have so many great topics from change man management, strategic planning, design thinking, you know, entrepreneurship in here, you know, so emotional intelligence. I mean, it can go on. I mean, we have all the information online and in, like it's in our brochures. So right now we are, we have 21 women in our second cohort and they're graduating, I think next week already, June 5th. So that's amazing. And we're working on cohort three. So cohort three is even going to be better because we've asked cohort two, you know, what we needed to improve on and we've added even more uh, curriculum. So right now, the applications are open. So if you go to online, nice. you can read all about it. And it closes on June 8th, so they have to go quickly. It's a, it's a pretty thorough application. It's very competitive, because we're only going to take about 20 at the max, because we really want to have that tight-knit group. But um, yeah, I can't say enough about this. It's a wonderful program. Who facilitates all of these, I mean, such diverse topics? Mm -hmm. Do you get facilitators from the business community? Yes. Yeah, so. You know, it's a 10-month program, and we have subject matter experts from the community come in and teach the cohort. I mean, it's wonderful. All the, you know, women executives, and, and we have some men, too, that teach the courses. Uh, it's invaluable. We just finished our last session, um, Entrepreneurial Thinking, and we had someone from Cornell oh, wow. teach the class. So, I mean, it's Very like, nice. it was amazing. Very nice. So, yeah, this is, this is the winner. <laughs> <laughs> so you're welcoming or you're taking applications for cohort three. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit about cohort one and the, the alumni and where they are today. So if you go on our website, I have cohort one and two on the site and it tells you all the, um, you know, their different jobs and everything. But, you know, I've seen about four or five women in our uh, cohort one and two already switched jobs <gasps> and already, you know, increased uh, from when they started um, to where they are now. You know, and some of them um, actually joined boards and are active in the community because our goal is really to, to get them, you know, their personal and professional mm -hmm. best. So, I mean, it's really exciting and they keep in touch. And again, this one too, we have an alumni, they're working together on uh, not only increasing, um, you know, their level in their corporate job or entrepreneurship, but also in the community. So they come together and they support, you know, YWCA, they volunteer and they do community work. So, I mean, it's it's all together such a great such a great program. That sounds so exciting. Mm -hmm. I I can't wait to go to the website and mm -hmm. and look at all your your cohort graduates and mm -hmm. see where they are today. Um, so the the um, center also partners with the SBA, mm -hmm. um, American Express. So mm -hmm. I know that um, Shop Small Hawaii yep. is something that's also going on. So tell me about this. Right, so American Express started Shop Small Saturday in 2010. So, you know, we have like, you know, Black Friday, Cyber Monday. So what's, what about the Saturday? So we, uh, they named it Shop Small Saturday, really promoting small businesses. Spend your money on Saturday, support small business. So the SBA partnered uh, with American Express nationwide. And so, of course, you know, us, us in Hawaii, we're like, we gotta, we gotta do something for Hawaii. So we created last year, to the end of the year, Shop Small Hawaii. So we um, want to get all the small businesses together and then really celebrate, you know, small businesses. So we're planning two events, uh, the SBA partners. So it's um, SBA, um, Patsy T. Mink Center for Business and Leadership, uh, Small Business Development Center, and VBOG, Veterans um, Business Outreach Center. We're doing two events, one in October and then one in November, to really celebrate small businesses. And what we're doing is we created a website and we want all the small businesses to go on and register their business because we're doing free promotion for them. So I mean, it can't get any better. So if you go on the website now and just fill it out, then we'll put your information on and we'll help um, to promote the businesses. So it's a work in progress right now because our goal is to get it out before um, Shop Small Saturday in November. So I would urge all small businesses to please um, check it out. 
again, free services, come on, you can't right. go wrong. Right. And um, yeah, let us, let us help you and let us support so you. So what's considered a small business? What qualifies a small business? Basically, ninety percent of all the businesses in Hawaii. Right. I mean, if you go to right, if you right. go to SBS, like five hundred, if you have less than five hundred employees, right. and so Hawaii is made up of small businesses. We are we're basically here to help everyone. Yeah. I think it's really nice that the center has such a tight partnership with the SBA, and mm -hmm. everyone knows you know, Reg Baker, who yes. is is the host of this show, yeah. um, and his involvement with small business administration, national and local. Mm -hmm. And so my guess is that you folks work very closely together. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the partnership. Uh, well, like I was saying, when I was on my own, you know, this is the part that was missing. Mm -hmm. You know, there are so many benefits uh, to working with the partners. They offer so many free services, you know, here in Hawaii in their office and also online. You can. You can research about anything you need, to, you need to know about business online. So that's one area. And then you look online, and if, if it gets you know, too overwhelming because there's so many things, they offer workshops at their um, facility at Restaurant Row. And then as partners, we help each other you know, facilitate those um, workshops and everything. So it's, it's so, so many benefits. It's, it's crazy. And one of the big things, too, is the funding, right? So they do have the SBA loans. So that's, um, that's right. important, too. So. And export, I mean, you know, entrepreneurship, all these things, on, you know, you can find, so. Uh, what about the Wahine Forum? Wahine Forum is also um, something that we partner with Hawaii Business Magazine. So, you know, they have that one forum in October, you know, featuring women's business. So what we did is we partner with them, and then from that topic, we do four luncheons throughout the year at, the, at uh, YWCA, so at Fuller Hall. So we take those topics, and we, um, and then we, do a little luncheon. So we have about 50, 60 people at the luncheon. It's open to anyone, the public. And we have panelists, we have speakers, just you know, reinforcing the topics um, that are trending. Our next, actually our next Wahini Forum is in August. And one of the topics that we're covering is, you know, nonprofit board. You want to join a board? You know, wow, what's the board fantastic. about? You know, how can you help? You know, all those different topics. So we'll have a, um, a really good panel talking about You're it. You're so right. We could go on and on and yep. on about all of the wonderful things mm -hmm. that your center does. Um, but unfortunately, we're out of time. Mm -hmm. But maybe we can have you back again. And <laughs> you can tell us the rest. Or um, our audience can go to the website, just like you said, where all of that information is readily available. Exactly. So thank you so much, Terry, for joining us today. And a huge thank you to the great production staff here in the studio. Business in Hawaii airs every Thursday at 2 o'clock. And we look forward to seeing you here next week.